Hello everyone, welcome back I to my let's play. To show up. I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Well, yeah. Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Sorry Alexander, gotta stop right there. I need to do the intro. Hello everyone, I'm Suyushu, this is my let's play of Amnesia the Dark Descent. We've just reached the Inex Hantum. In a sanctum, and uh, I have a feeling we might be coming to the end of the game now. But let's crack on, see how it goes. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in a gripper? Do you need to be naked? Is it necessary? Oh. Ugh, I shouldn't stay too long. Oh dear, that hurts. Okay, um, well at least looking at Alexander doesn't make us go insane. He is naked, I mean I would keep mentioning about that. Um, what do I do? There's nothing here to do. I mean like there's no doors or anything, so let's take a look. No mementos. Is there anything to mess with? Can I mess with this thing? Oh, click. The pallet is unstable and on the verge of falling over. Can I hit it with anything? Like a creeper's head? No. Can I... Oh, I can... I can bonk it about. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe I can... Oh. Pull it to... Okay. Push it to the left. Don't do that. Sorry. Okay. I'll do it to the next I one. I realize you doubt my intentions. Why would I take such extreme measures to save your life? We're kind of a bit upset at you, sir. So Stop you it! You are ruining it. <laughs> Spoiling it! We are so close. I beg you. It's fine, mate. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. You'll see. I'm just like you, Daniel, a prisoner of circumstance, trapped in a world I no longer recognize. As you gain your freedom, will you deny me mine? Well, you've done quite a lot of close, naughty things. Closer than I've been for centuries. Look, to be honest, we've both done things we shouldn't have done. Neither of us really deserve to live, honestly. But let's see what happens when I knock this over, eh? Eh? <laughs> oh! You killed us both! Have I? <laughs> oh! No, oh, he disappeared! Disintegrated. Oh, is that it? Are you kidding me? It was my greatest triumph, and I never looked back. Mm -hmm. You think I was afraid of fleeing Brennenberg? Huh. Quite the contrary. I knew it was my purgatory, hellfire made to wash away my sins. Hmm. There's no denying the things I've done, but I have paid my tribute. I gave them that awful man. Doors open. I did the right thing. Yay! Shortest video ever! Ah, oh, but there must be something else to it though. Oh jeez, that really is it! But... But I still had a gripper's head! What did I have to do with his head? Hmm... Well, let's let the credits fall. And, uh... Maybe we can go back and do something else. I hope. Actually, no, both of them are here scared. Oh, I can't... Okay, I can click through them. The end. Ike two seven one. Why does it say that? Oh, it's like L K E. L L K L K E two seven one. What's that about? Uh, load game. Ah, okay. Um, the inner sanctum. That's odd. What are these orb chambers doing here? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
All right, then let's reload and see what we can do. There must be something else I can do. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Yeah, it did. Is everything nice and clear now? Am I let's see what we can make I, up. the villain. Good. And the portal has not yet opened yet. Okay, so we just need to wait around, don't we? But hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in a gripper? So do I Okay. Do we just wait for the gate to open? Or do I have to tip over perhaps one of them? Yeah, I know it is. Let's wait. Let's wait a few moments and uh, see what happens. If it's a long wait, then I'll I'll cut the video. Yeah, I didn't realise I was so close to the end of the game. If I if I knew, then I wouldn't have stopped playing last night. I would have carried on. But um, that just proves that I'm really running through the game blind. I suppose. There must be something to do. Can I go back out? It won't budge. Um. Oh, the stones seem to be getting faster, so maybe something is happening. Are they getting faster? Or is this just my imagination? Now that's definitely getting faster. Isn't it? I'm sure it is. Hmm. Well, so folks, um, this isn't exactly the most exciting. Uh, yeah, it's not exactly the most exciting. Oh, there we go. Ouch! Hang on. Yeah, hang on a second. Hold up and very soon. I can finally return home. Steady. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hang on. No, you have ruined us. Sorry. Hey, alternate ending. Oh, oh dear. Did I die? Die or? No, it doesn't look like it. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. Please, help him. I know you can. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. I hope so. Oh, and and that's it. Okay. Are those the only two endings? Well, no. Nope, let's click through it. I mean, we could have just waited and waited. And let's see what happens then. Why is with these? Codes at the bottom. ODN three one four. Hmm. Okay. Uh, load game. Orb chamber. Let's load this one. And let's just wait and wait and wait and see what happens. Perhaps we think. I was yeah. Alexander should go home. I it's fine. You to run some <sighs> Seems we have to Tell wait again. Um. Nice I'm not going to fuss through that, sir. Am I? I'll just look at the rocks and you'll magically see them speed up when I cut the video here. Okay, so I think we're almost ready. The rocks are going pretty fast. The portal's going to open anytime soon. And we're just going to sit back and see what happens, you know? Will Alexander float through? Will the whole place explode? Or will Alexander say, actually, no, Daniel, you go. It's fine. Can finally return.
return home. Yeah. Good work, Alexander. Can I knock these over while the thing's open, or does it not make a difference? Yeah, I know. Not cool, Alexander. Go on then. Enough off. I've had enough here. Off he goes. The end. Please let me go. Uh oh. Hey. I am innocent. Oh, I can't access my inventory or anything. No, I wanna, I wanna use the health things I've got. Oh, oh dear. Well, folks, I think this is kind of the worst ending. But then again, Daniel does kind of deserve it. Hmm, I'm not sure. Does he deserve to escape? It doesn't seem like it. Thank you, my friend. It's all right. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten. You will be celebrated forever. Yay. Well, there you go. I guess those are the only three endings. Endings. Uh, if there's any more, then I'll record them and I'll post them up. Official games are five people. Is it really only five people that made this game? Aside from actors and stuff, I suppose. Design was Tom Grip and Jen Zilson. Yeah, that's crazy. I had no idea the development team was so tiny. That's really impressive. Um, well, the game was good. It was very good. Except any of those three endings, honestly. It was a bit anticlimactic. I expected, to, I expected there seemed to be some really crazy stuff happening at the very end. And I suppose, you know, as you get towards the end, it does get more and more kind of... Um, it's a little bit more magic, I guess. You see all these kind of crazy contraptions doing stuff, and I like the whole. I actually like. I was. I was really dig stories that like span over like hundreds of years and stuff. Like Alexander is hundreds of years old, and so it's a gripper and everything. And the technology that they know is from a different world, and it's actually far beyond anything on Earth, which is quite interesting. Um, it just that that whole ending bit, finally seeing, actually, actually finally getting to meet Alexander. Well, did he have to be naked? That was slightly let down. He doesn't really do anything else other than just talk to you and look at you and... And I know the game doesn't, obviously doesn't base itself around um, action or anything like that, but I did expect there to be a bit more of a challenge, honestly. I mean, I guess you could die by keep, by, by touching the flame over and over and over, but <laughs> no one's going to do that. Hmm. The end. T Y R two nine nine. Still don't know what these are. This might just be something for the website or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, well, there you go. I, I, if you're into your horror survival games or like scary puzzle games and such, um, I do recommend it. I think it's a good game. It's just the ending is a bit rubbish. <laughs> Sorry, but again, if I discover any more endings, I will, I'll record them. I'm, I'm not gonna play the game and find out. I'm just going to look it up on the internet and you know see if there is any more because I'm because I'm lazy like that. Um, but if there is anything else or anything super secret, which I think is worth showing, then I'll record it and I'll put it up. Um, otherwise, I'm pretty much done with the game. Um, not sure what I'll let's play next. I did just get um, uh, Chronicles of Riddick: um, Assault and Dark Athena. Which might be pretty fun. I'm not sure how good a let's play it will make, but I might I might do that. Um, there's also the two small expansions that are available for this game, but I'm not sure if I want to do those right away because you know this was this was what, what like seven hours long or whatever. So I'm not sure if I need to go. I, I doubt that I doubt they're as long as the main game, but I think I've had enough of amnesia for now. And besides, I just I want to play something where you can actually kill something. Um, but Chronicles of Riddick will hopefully have shades of that because you are still creeping around in the dark and doing stealth-like things. I don't even know if it's a particularly good game. I know the original on the Xbox was regarded as like a really good game. 
like a surprisingly really good game. I don't know about the remake, but I've been wanting to check it out for a while, and it was on Steam sales recently, and it was like it was cheap as chips, like literally cheap as chips <laughs> for this for this city anyway. Um, so I'm probably going to check that out. Otherwise, it's goodbye from me. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry the video was so short. I just, I literally had no idea that the ending was going to be that quick. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks for sticking with me. If you've watched from the very beginning, if you haven't, check out some of the early videos. That some of them are quite funny, I think. And I will see you next time. Bye.